Hello guys and welcome back to SnowRunner episode 129. I'm MJ Haggis and we're going to get the Voron and the Yar 87 back to the garage and store them up. We're kind of done on the Mandra at the moment at least and I'll show you what the intentions are. I'll get these two back to the garage. I'll do an edit so you don't need to see me just basically going back down the hill. I'll cross this point again, get across and then back up to the garage and in. That's the plan initially, but what we're wanting to do, and I'll show you in the global maps, we're going to go back to Amur. I want to go into Urska River because behind the garage, which is there, in this little bit here, there's another car we can get for free. But to get that, we need to do a mission. So it's going to get a little bit more convoluted, but that's not not a bad thing, but we'll we'll do some more. We've got watchtowers still to open up as well. And we need to go into Cosmodrome and then into Chernokomensk. So we've got a bit of map hopping to do, but that's the plan. So I will get back to where were we? Cola, yeah, that's right, Amandra. So I'll get the, these vehicles back in the garage. Anything happens, I'll bring you back. But I'm hoping that will be a fairly straightforward drive back to the garage. So I will see you in a sec. Welcome back, guys. Okay, update time. We're back in Arska River at the garage. I have deployed the Azov 73210. The plan is going to, I'm going to follow this highlighted that we've been before, that we had to go way up north to recover a carton side trailer for another mission. But we're going to do a similar route. But when we get up here, I think we're going to be swinging round to the right to try and end up somewhere over there. Oh, sorry. Move the map back. Oh, I didn't want to do that either. I want to grab the line. There we go. And go over something like that. Because the mission we're going to be doing is quid pro quo. I've left the chains on it. It might be wise. They'll be reasonably good in mud or snow anyway. And the chains might just prove a little bit more handy. We're going to fight our way through here again. Coming through, bit of a mess. I'll tidy it up later. Snow plow that. So it's back down onto the ice. You've seen this before, but it's been a wee while. So maybe I'll just keep you with me for this journey away to the north. Nothing happened getting the other vehicles back. A little bit tricky getting back across the ice uh, causeway, the natural ice causeway. Ooh. That little front still problems, and that's another reason why we're here, because I want to get the upgrade for this to raise the suspension again, the active suspension. Anyway, so yeah, crossing the causeway with the um, Voron and the Yar, some of the little gaps between the ice were just too big, and the front wheels would just drop into it. And get stuck. Luckily, I managed to get out. Nothing too difficult, but my solution around that was to go in reverse. Um, the double wheels would manage to get the rearmost axle across to the next side before it dropped in, and it just keep on moving once it was across. So that was that. No problems. So everything is back in the gadget. I even put. Let's get into automatic a bit quicker. I think. I even jumped back into the Hummer, which had the prototype uh, exploration unit attached. So I jumped back in that and I pulled the trailer and I returned the um, Hummer back to the garage too. A bit of housekeeping. We're going up here now. Maybe. Of course you don't take damage when you dig that front nose in, it just stops you abruptly. It doesn't cause damage. 
I'm not sure if that's mainly down to the upgraded or the replacement um, front bumper. Ooh. Make you sick with that camera. So we're now going to cross over again and back down. We may end up coming back to this map soon. And we'll try and get some of the roads open and do all the other little jobs that we like to do. Watchtowers, roads open and recover vehicles to their owners or whatever. So, I think this episode will be a lot of prep work for the main task. Quid pro quo requires stuff taken from A to B. And I think it's a multi-map type of mission. I wanna, where do I want to head up? Is it still further on? I think it is. Or is it there? Hold on, guys. Let me have a look at the map. Not too familiar with this one still. Yeah, we can go round that bit and back up to the road. There. I just don't want to fall through the ice and do another rescue mission. And live without that. This has been a wee while since we had this as of out. I did say ages ago when we got it, we need to get the race suspension or the active suspension for it. I don't think it particularly raises it an awful lot, but anything helps. The thing just keeps on battling through. It's almost like a snowplow with stones. What am I, what am I beached on? That's unusual. I don't think I'd be, oh, is that, that one there that was causing the problems? That's, a, that's not even that big. Anyway. So yeah, I do like using this. We, we paid good money for this truck. Might as well use it. Uh, are we going to be carving our way between those mountains? I suspect it'll be something like that. Go on, as of. Yeah, that's nasty. No, let's use the winch. Save a bit of time and effort. going to turn right here. I don't even know if this route is properly passable. I guess we're going to find out. Basically, we're just heading over to activate the mission. I'm just wondering if I should have picked up. Let's stop the engine. I'll open up the map. Yeah, we're going to cut through here somehow. But I'm wondering, we need to pick up concrete blocks and something else from... and brick. I wonder if I should have taken them immediately. Hmm, guys. Do I go back and take them now? And drop them off? Yeah. Tell you what, I'm going to head back and I'll pick up these two onto the back of the Azov. And then I'll head back. I should be able... I wonder if I can sneak up somewhere. It would be prudent to go and do it. It'd save a trip later on. And, yeah, I'm sure it is. If I can get it to highlight again. It's not that one. Oh, no, it's definitely not that one. Come on, give me the right one. Ah, I won't do it. Okay. 
glitches. I will see you again once I've stocked up on the wooden, sorry, not the wooden, but the bricks and the concrete blocks. It's one of each, I think. So, see you in a sec. Okay, I am now at the warehouse. It wasn't too bad a journey back. Concrete blocks is what we're after one of. So we'll take that. And bricks. So now I've got to go all the way back round to where you saw me at the before. Uh, better to do it now than later. That's that's the main thing. It's one less main trip. Fish if I can activate the mission and immediately drop off some of the required goods. The other bits is two concrete slabs. If I, I might actually be one. I'll double check. Well, we'll check when we get there. But it's concrete slabs is the other part. And if it is two, then the reason I'm bringing the Azov, another reason is I can train the concrete slabs on top of each other and do two in one as opposed to using a trailer or doing two runs. That was my thinking. It was the old double stack trick. But guys, I will now see you back where I left you off before en route. You can see where my tracks were before. So basically I'm going right back the way we came. See you in a sec. Okay, I am now back where I was before, but we're fully loaded. I've set another waypoint. We're going to go just to the north side of that little loch thing. Hopefully that's the right way. It's so hard to tell. I was hoping to be like a remnants of a road. I mean, there's telegraph poles there, so maybe that is the way I should be going. Let's back it up. I almost got beached in a stone at that previous point where I struggled before. But I managed to free myself just... And definitely being near telegraph poles would be handy if I need to winch. And the next consideration is should I have put fuel on it when I was going back round? I don't know. This is nasty. Second axle spinning. We'll be all going together. Come on, get this out. There we go. What I was after. Nasty. I just want to get the mission activated. Because this will be a, a multi episode effort to get this vehicle, I suspect. Especially if it's going to be as slow as this. It ain't going to happen anytime soon. Now the question is, do we go through where the telegraph poles are on that fallen tree? If you can see it. This is... I'm going. Or do we follow the water line? I don't know. I don't know. We'll head for the telegraph poles. No winch points. The main thing is to keep moving though. Don't want to get stuck. Destroying all the trees around me. Uh, 
you were going to get stuck on that one. Doesn't look, doesn't look much better there, does it? I'm going to go around these rocks that's right in front of me. I'm sure there's a quicker way, and you're probably meant to open up the roads that are up in the hills. But we haven't got around to doing that yet. It's a little bit quicker. Yay, some sort of a road. At last. Oh. As of I need to check the map soon because I don't want to go too far that would be just my luck but it's got to be through here go on that's the way to do it Yes, this looks right. Oh, look, there's a trailer with stuff on it. Uh, is that concrete box? Oh. Well, that's interesting, because we need concrete blocks for the second bit of this. Is that, and I think that's the mission we're after. New objective. Quid pro quo. So the mission is, hey, want to make some money? Yes, obviously. Even better, I could give you some juicy leads. Get the construction materials to my brother in town and I'll make it worth your time. Okay. 12,000 cash and 1,250 XP for that. So it's, um, I'm not sure, if that, is that a maintenance symbol and a drop off? Let's track it anyway. So supplies... Right, where do we drop the supplies off? Is it here? Oh, we've got to take these supplies. Oh. So after me... Ah, oh, could you believe it? They've provided the supplies. Oh well. So you basically got to tow this trailer then, I presume. Back to its destination. Now oh, you live and learn. There's me thinking I was being proactive. Let's have a look at the maps. Let's put the engine off. Oh, fuel. That could be an issue. So we made it to our destination. Where's my waypoint there? I guess get rid of that. Confuse the issue. So quid pro quo. Supplies from here and we're going to there. Hmm, okay. That is the mission. And then deliver. That's all the stuff that's on the back. So it's one lot of concrete slabs. Ah, okay, so it's just basically everything that's on the trailer. Okay. Let me have a quick recce and time scale because I'm not sure with all the editing how long this episode is. You miss it, guys. Okay, looking at the map, we've got to go around this main road right the way around. So I am going to attempt to push this trailer back. 
reversing these things with a dolly, never easy. Especially when it suddenly starts to turn. Like that. Let's see if I can use a winch point to help me round. Nothing. Of course there's not. You parked that trailer? Really? I want to go the other way. Any winch points? No. Come on, straighten up. There we go. Turn the other way. That's it. Keep moving, keep moving. It's close enough. I'm going to drive over the dolly here at this rate. Let's see if I can pull it back anywhere. Go on, pull. I do not want to tip it over. I mean, we've got a crane if we do, but... Let's see if I can pull it that way now. Kind of working. Right, okay. This mission, or this episode of this mission, might be longer than I intended. on as of pull this trailer that's got to be heavy definitely think fuel could be an issue here stay out of the mud and keep an eye out for any potential trees for winching to should I need it ok I need to check the map again ok I have had a quick look at the map and I've also noticed there's another upgrade that we're going to quickly pick up en route. I'm dropping off the trailer because it's just weight we don't need. And it's up this little track. I do think, however, we're going to run out of fuel. Which is going to be another issue. I might have to bring out maybe the wee warthog with the fuel trailer and send that out to come and Pop me up. Oh, where's this upgrade? Is it in those trees over there? Never going to be in an easy place, is it? There it is. Is this a popped up? <coughs> oh, that's close. That is very close to tipping over. Right, 
Right, can we pick another tree to get to? Oh, so close. Um, yeah, let's back it up. And go up there. break on stop, 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 stop and what we got was the raised suspension for the can dentinal <laughs> not something we own yet I'm just gonna push my way through these trees I think I can No, I can't. Ah, oh. okay. Definitely a downside to having a really long vehicle. But I definitely think the pros outweigh the cons. Liters. <laughs> no chance. To the boulders. I'm tempted just to ditch these bricks and blocks. We don't need to carry them anymore. drop them somewhere. I don't know if they'll ever be needed for a mission. I don't know. But we've got to go all the way up there. Blimey. Okay. But I'm going to call it an episode, guys. I think this has gone on way too long. I mean, I don't know what it'll be like with the editing done, but to finish the mission, you're going to have to come back. I think it'll still be a challenge to get where we need to go in this map is a fair drive yet so got a couple of upgrades so I'm, I'm happy with that that's that's going to see us through the yard and the sentinel when we get it eventually but guys thanks for watching see you again soon and bye for now